Okay, people. We're going to go out today and try to shoot some flatfish. I've got a work that keeps me from going offshore, so we're going to go inshore. And I've got like several people on the boat, only half of which are awake. So we don't know what the business is going to be like. Uh, about a four foot swell running. Right? So up? we might just be going for a boat ride after we go through the inlet. We don't know. There's only one way to find out. You get to go. So we're going to go. So let's go. Coming right behind you, Woody. It really wasn't quite this green, so I'll do a little color correction to uh, to make that look a little better here. In just a second. You'll see that the viz goes from, well, it's not too bad, to, well, not so good. Can't even see my fins anymore. Getting ready to see uh, Gar's first flounder right here of the day. And this should be Gar's second flounder of the day. Okay, we've switched back to my camera now, and you're getting ready to see me miss a beautiful flounder. I chased after this thing for a while, but never could find it. Now I'll find another flounder, this is not the same fish. I'm pretty sure that the uh, fish I missed went up and over the, the barge or through the holes.
This is a cool little sequence between Gar's camera and my own, so uh, check this out. In case you didn't get that, that was Beth telling Gar that there was a big barracuda uh, above on the wreck. I, I saw him, he was giving us some attention with all the flounder that we had. Okay, in case you didn't understand that, that was uh, Gar and I discussing about going up and over and on the outside of the barge because we're on the inside of the barge right now. The viz, of course, is going to be much worse on the outside of the barge, as you will soon see. <laughs> As I come down this wall, I almost land on the flounder and it scurries off. That's why I'm a little upset here. This is a uh, Gar's view of what was going on.
flounder was the nicest one for me for the day, but as you can see, I barely got it through the the finlets on the side of the head. I didn't even hardly get any shot in the body at all. As you can see, I dropped my fish uh, because I'm going to find my wife and tell her it's time to go. Because I think we shot all the flounder that we need to shoot today. So uh, it was a good dive. We had a good time, uh, even though the viz was a little challenging. But that's okay. That's inshore North Carolina diving at its finest.